How's it going, Nahida? I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant. Good, good, good. Oh, also, this is for you. What is this? Huh? What's this little floaty thingy? It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. Okay, I mean, this thing looks cute, but sketchy at the same time. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Okay. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! <laughs> We're both small things that float! Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. Oh, all the things that make Paimon special got copied. But Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on. People won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore. <laughs> it looks completely different from you. <laughs> it's all right, Paimon. It can't replace you. Right. It doesn't even talk. It's only a flying device, but you're the traveler's irreplaceable friend. Exactly. <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the traveler was as smart as you. Whoa! What the? Hmm? I was simply telling you what I feel to be the truth. I wasn't trying to comfort you. Nahida, you're a natural at this. What you just said made Paimon even happier. <laughs> By the way, there's something I need to confess. Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, I'm not very good at fighting. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. Oh. Uh, I'm not as well loved as Greater Lord Rukadavata. Okay, that makes sense. If we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'll have to count on you and I'll do my best to provide support. Fighting is my forte. I'm glad I can rely on you. Absolutely. Hmm. So the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? That actually sounds about right. I've located where the false God is. Ooh. Time is of the essence, so let's skip to it. Oh no! There's no way we're going to fight him right now. Go through the passage and reach the Balladeer. Is this it? Oh, creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. Oh no. No way this is it. Current party is lower than recommended. Yeah, always. Okay, <laughs> what's, what's new? What is new? We are starting this video off with the freaking the Balladeer boss fight. No way. No way this is happening right now. Oh, I'm nervous. What is this place? Is this really the way we need to go? Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this hidden right smack bang in the middle of the city? The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm. Makes That's sense. True. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the Academia alone. The Fatui under the Doctor yep. sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yeah, it's to help one of their own Harbingers become a god after all. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it though? I've always felt that this Doctor is different from the Academia Sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. So, the doctor being weird is actually normal. Yeah, the doctor actually terrifies me. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. 
One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his... <laughs> It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. Yeah, we've had a few encounters, but none of them were pleasant. I see. Tell me more about him and what he's like. Well, he's uh, absolutely terrifying too. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future situation. Yeah, the Balladeer is scary. Ah, I see. How fascinating. All right, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. Oh, I'm scared. I don't know if I am ready. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. You know what? I was actually hoping. I was hoping that we were going to be uh, running into more Fatui down here. All right. Good job, Guoba. Okay, the Fatui is done. Perfect. Oh, okay. All right, I see. Up and away. It looks like we can climb up these pipes. What oh, pipes? Oh, yes. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Ooh, oh. Oh. For two we. Is there more up there? Yes, I saw another one. It's supposed to be a Adam, platform. Well, seems all messed up. Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Pattern is all messed up. What? Hey, so a little bit of a puzzle. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I thought I was gonna miss this thing. Okay, where's this taking us? Ooh, this is a little sketchy. Okay, we gotta get off here, I'm guessing. Okay. Climb up these pipes. I saw the Fatui guy up here. Yep. All right, rotate, rotate. Nope. I can't be performed during combat. Come on. Oh, I was hoping I was gonna be able to knock him right off. That would have been so cool. Okay, ooh, I see now. I mean, that does look right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so a little bit of a puzzle. I should have known. We are in a dungeon after all, but welcome to today's video. Oh man. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the Archon Quest. What a ride. What a ride it has been, and I appreciate all of the love and support, as always. Boom, baby! And we get a chest. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's rotate. Line them up. Ooh, looking good. Oh no, no! Come back! Oh, okay. Do I have to go that way? Hold on. I think we need to go the other way. 
Yes. Oh. Okay. One more lever. Knocked him right off of the platform. That was awesome. Okay, I thought it was one more. I was wrong. Do we have to go down here? Nope. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, okay. I understand now. Rotates. Yes. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. No. Boom. Oh, we're getting close to the balladeer. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm curious to see how difficult this boss fight is going to be. If it's anything like Sinora, no, you gotta be kidding me. No, why do I fall to my death so much in games? All right, perfect. Thank you. There was no need to jump. Oh, hello. More. I should have known. Actually, these guys aren't too difficult. Drop your weapons. Nice and safe. By royal decree. Surrender. Not too bad. Actually. They're just giving us false confidence going into the Belladier boss fight. More. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take her out. I don't want to be cold anymore. There we go. Oh my goodness. All right, the final one. Really? That wasn't it? Okay. Platform should be working now. What is this though? What the heck? All right. I would like to take a moment to thank Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. If you are not familiar with Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co, these are snack boxes that you can get every month that are packed with snacks right from Japan. These snack boxes are a super fun way to experience Japan from the comfort of your home and a great way to try Japanese snacks that you otherwise maybe wouldn't be able to try. These boxes are Sakura inspired and since trying these boxes, I have become a big fan of that sweet cherry blossom flavor. So I was very happy to see more Sakura flavored snacks. So the Tokyo Treat Box is the Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest Box. Since no Cherry Blossom Festival is complete without delicious snacks, Tokyo Treat packed this box full of Yozakura inspired treats to bring a bit of Japan's most popular season straight to you. There are many delicious snacks in this box, such as the Sakura Cream Cake that was not only beautiful, but delicious. The Koikeya Nori Shio Chips, which was the first time that I have ever tried seaweed. So I was a little nervous trying them, uh, but these are easily one of my favorite snacks from the box. Also a Sakura Corinto, which are little bits of fried dough that are infused with Sakura leaves. 
and then rolled into sugar. I mean, you can't really go wrong with fried dough, so I was excited when I saw these as well. There is also a Sakura waffle cookie that has a Sakura infused filling that was just so good. So many great Japanese snacks that you could try out for yourself. I have the link pinned in the comments below, or you can head over to tokyotreat.com yourself and then use my code KingBard to get $5 off at checkout. One thing I do want to point out before going to the Sakureko box uh, is how beautifully designed these boxes are. This Sakureko box is just so elegant and I love it. Or if you want more of a monthly Japanese artisan snack box, Sakureko is for you. This box theme is a night of a Sakura. This tradition known as Yozakura is a time of togetherness as friends and families enjoy each other's companies while savoring delicious food and drink. And this box is a great way to join in on celebrating Yozakura. Invite some friends and family over to try these snacks with you. My personal favorites from this box was the Sakura Castella cake, the stunning Sakura cream cookie, just like the Sakura cream cake. In the Tokyo Treat Box, this cookie was not only beautiful, but also delicious. And then the Shoyo Corn Puffs. These were perfect to eat in between the sweet treats. These corn puffs have a rich and buttery roasted soy sauce flavor that was so good and so dangerous because once you eat one, you can't stop. The white chocolate strawberries, the strawberry butter senbei, and all of the other snacks that you get in this box are so delicious and you will not regret getting yourself or a family member a Tokyo Tree or a Sakureko box. Again, if you're interested in getting yourself or someone you know a Tokyo Tree or Sakureko box, the link is in the description or pinned in the comments below. And use the code KINGBAR to receive $5 off your order. Not only will you be getting a box filled with snacks, but you will also be supporting the channel at the same time. So thank you all so much for the love and support as always. And thanks to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. Oh, we're going up. I thought we were going to be going down. We have to be getting close to the end of this. There was a lot of Fatui. But I am guessing this is our final stop. Okay. Through these doors? Looking at its operational status, we must prepare for the worst. Yep, the I agree. The wanted to create is likely close to completion or already completed. Yeah, that's not a surprise. I've already seen him control the weather. Oh no, what should we do? Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against a Fatui Harbinger with a Gnosis. Yeah, probably not enjoyable. Are you nervous, Paimon? I certainly am. If you really want to know, of course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about what? Curious about our fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur, so it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. No, you definitely are not. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Uh, I, yeah, I guess. Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. <sighs> we won't lose. Agreed. I hope. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, I can no! I aura from here. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is going to be not good. How many deaths? There's no way I'm going to beat him in one try. I doubt it. Oh, cutscene. Let's go. Immediate intense. Oh, my. There's a robot. What is she doing? What is she doing? Waking him up? Yep. Wakey, wakey. Who would have thought the world would be so eager for oh, my Oh, my. I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he knowing and powerful now like greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I'm so nervous. I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. I'm he nervous. He has undoubtedly become a true god now. <gasps> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... Already become So a he god. really is a god. The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity... I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Oh, good. Uh, oh, good. I can't read that. I'm too nervous. This imposing aura. It really feels like gods. A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into One, this? One, two, three, four arms. From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! <laughs> but I don't it's impressive think for sure. The spiritual height of a god. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Everlasting Lord of Arcane Wisdom. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same thing as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place! <laughs> <laughs> she got yelled at. Still the same Balladeer we know. The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. How are we gonna defeat this thing? This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. Have you met Venti? No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. But from now on, Nahida's followers will only continue to increase in number. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. <laughs> Thanks. This is where everything ends, Boor. The god of wisdom. Booer? You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come. Oh, I like the music. Let us reenact a scene oh, of the Archon boy. War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. 
Okay, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. We gotta understand what, what the combat is here. What is the combat? Pick up energy blocks created during battle. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see. All right, Nahida's little robot thing that she gave us. At my command, you shall fall. What is happening? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, I don't want to lower the difficulty. No, thank you, not yet. Oh, yo. Yo! The music is awesome! Insignificant All right, come on, baby! No, 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 Oh, I see. I see now. All right, it's all learning. It's all learning. So this. No, 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 no. My command, you shall. One. Here we go. All right, there we go. Hell yeah, baby! Drop your weapons. Perish! I, I can do that too. <laughs> Jokes on you, buddy boy. Come on, baby. Give me my alt, please. Give me my alt. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not gonna perish. You gotta do a hell of a lot more than that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Damn you! Past. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, hold on, 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 hold on. We're gonna eat some sweet madam. Bring back Fischl. Oh, uh, she can eat some super sweet madam. Do those. It's gonna be great. At my command, you shall fall. Come on! Oh, that was rude. Stop right there! Insignificant past. Nowhere to run. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. We're almost there. Bring your hand down here, please. There we go. Boom, baby. Oh, easy. No sweat. Patience. Oh, dang. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is right. Oh, no, I forgot. He stands up. Okay, a phase two, we're fine. We are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Come on. Yeah! I can do that too. Drop your weapons. No, 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 Come here! Oh no! Oh, this is gonna be a while, huh? What's happening? Oh my god! The cutscene, let's go! Yo, this is awesome! Oh, hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, dang. Oh, damn, what? Uh oh, Nahida! Yes! Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> she she definitely looked like she was going to do something there. That's unfortunate. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Oh, no way. No way. No way! The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Oh, let's go! It was a trap! Oh, Nahida! That's badass! We just concluded the 168th loop. The battle didn't even happen. In the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Oh. Yo. <laughs> You can't even defeat me in a dream. 
What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <sighs> Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <sighs> All that battle experience! Uh... It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function Yo. of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the Oh, of dang! I asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Yo, they're gonna believe in Nahida. Let's go! Oh, she's gonna become powerful. Tainori! I'll hate them. Oh, this is awesome. Nilu Saido! Hell yeah! This is it. Oh, baby. Nighty night, Balladeer. Oh, man, this is awesome. What the? Yo, this is so cool. Oh, my God. What? Using the knowledge to defeat him. This is amazing. <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A fool. Oh! The first sage? That actually sounds really cool. Okay. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. Burn to oblivion. What are these? What are these? Where is he? Nice. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Back to the middle. Okay, come on, baby. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, we're fine. We're fine. I forgot I have Nahida. Destroy, uh, enter, okay. How the hell do I? How do you defeat those? Um, excuse me. All right, great, great. What does this mean? A spirit bomb? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. good. Alright. We need to figure it out. Actually, no, we don't. We're fine. We are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Look at this. Yo, this is so cool. I am loving this boss fight. The music is amazing. Come on, baby.
Where is he? Reality? It's pain. Come on, you are over with, buddy. This is it. This is it. Booyah! Let's go! First try! You're no god! Oh, there better not be a third humans. phase. Filthy humans. Let's go. That was such a cool sequence. Oh, the Gnosis. No. Wait. Please. Oh. What the Gnosis. He's scared. Wow. That's a side of him we have not seen. That's mine. Don't even try. I'll never. I'll never go back. Oh my gosh. I feel bad. We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadevata. Huh? This is... Oh, another right. capsule. This is the last memory oh. of my predecessor. Oh, okay, okay. This is going to be interesting. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadevata to be as polluted as this. Polluted? Surely not. It must be due to forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge? It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Yeah, definitely. Your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshret's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadevata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. Oh. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermansoul itself already in danger. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadevata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Rukadevata? Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermansoul. <laughs> what the? Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just... Uh... Is sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Oh my gosh. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions all the way up to her last breath? What an Archon quest, huh? Woo! 
Oh, this quest is so good. She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. By clue, you mean the words world forget me? Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Ruka Devata tell us the truth in person. I hope we can use that truth to save everybody. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any Okay, moment. yeah, let's not do that. <sighs> That's so scary. Don't worry. It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, are we in, like, uh, a dream? In the air? What oh, the... Yo, That's that is so cool. Which symbolizes reason here. Its course is the direction our consciousness is traveling towards. Oh, if we no lose way. control over our consciousness, we will fall into madness. Okay. So let's make sure the boat. Wow. What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them. Let's make sure the boat what? <laughs> okay. I'm going to ignore them. And especially ignore these. I don't believe we need to uh, fight them. No, 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 no! Stop right there! Wait, where did the other? Uh, where did the other ones go? Did they fall? Oh yeah, they had to have. Oh, let's go! Four-leaf sigils have appeared in the sky! Ah, uh, okay. So we had to defeat them. Yeah. All right, perfect. So now we know. So now we know we need to defeat these things. But what an Archon quest. Man, if Sumeru is this good, and all of you tell me that Fontaine is better, uh, I, I honestly am so excited and I have no idea what to expect. Fontaine has to be on another level because oh my goodness. The fact that anything can top Sumeru uh, is is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy, but I am so, so excited. Your sins weigh upon your soul. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy. A fun little battle on a boat. Uh, yeah, I definitely am going to heal up. Oh, I can't. Cool. I kind of can. I can't go in there. Oh, this is so cool. What? We're gonna steer a ship? Oh, Which heck yes. Are we still going the right way, Nahida? This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. This is so cool. Where are we going to next? Boy, oh boy. Man, this game is amazing. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. 
How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Ah, uh, some strange thoughts came from time to time, but I seem to be okay now. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. I agree. I am very curious to see how great Aruka Devada is. And what she thinks about Nahida. That's going to be interesting. So, is this the Ooh. place you were talking about? The base of Ermansoul? It is beautiful in here, though. It is so pretty. Very watercolor-esque. Well, this is the place. Yes, it's the same place from my memories. I... We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? But the one standing over there is... Oh. Nahida? Is that... Wait. Me? What? She looks exactly like me. What? Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Um... Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Wait, why is she... What? The two of you look almost exactly the same. Soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> we're... Of the same nature? Why? Because you are me, and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? As Greater Lord Ruka Devata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. Oh, okay. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. Which was Nahida. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. Hmm. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. <laughs> But you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. So this is the connection between you two. Lesser Lord Kusanali and Greater Lord Ruka Devada. If this is true, then am I... going to be a great Archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? That's a great insight. Yes, very good. It's also precisely why you won't become like me. Uh, really? But perhaps you may become an even greater Archon than I. I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You only need to wait quietly for the flower to bloom. She will definitely become a great Archon. Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. <laughs> True. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the Archon I always admired was in fact myself in another fate. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Ruka Devata. 
I've always wanted to meet you. That's awesome. A nice little confidence boost for Nahida. The feeling is mutual. I love it. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermin's soul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And what exactly happened when you died? Ah, uh, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Everything that day, even the sky itself, changed into a color like this. I knew it. The Conria Cataclysm. At that time, the Seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Except for me. I had a more important task to attend to. I had to protect Erminsoul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Erminsoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Erminsoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So what exactly is forbidden knowledge? It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world, and a form of truth that can't be understood. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermensoul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tevat could fall apart. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? Yeah, that's interesting. At that time, I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Like, I wonder what it is exactly, you know? Which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Well, did it work? Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Ermansoul. Oh, okay. But things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermansoul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh, oh no! How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes. But my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermansoul as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. And... There's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation in the next Samsara and left a trail of clues, all in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Oh. Wait, no. She's the pollution? <laughs> so you realize what that implies. You are very smart indeed. Ermin's soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin's soul means I essentially will never have existed in this world. Oh, wow. But 
This is the only way wow. to save Ermin's soul. People love you so much, and, and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I... I am exactly the same. So how... How can we just forget you like this? World forget me. Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You're the god of wisdom, Booer. You should know that there is no other way. But this... This is so cruel. Wow. I don't want to forget you. No need to feel so sad, Booer. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking yep, all along. Yep, here we along. go. Let the world completely forget me. Wow. We all nestle under the great Aww. tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch Aww. and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this Aww. world. In this is my so dreams, beautiful. Everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all this things Nahida. in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds, were numerous Aww. smaller worlds, nope. all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and <laughs> oh, no. changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Oh. She finally met her and had to let her go. Oh my goodness. Oh, this game. <laughs> oh, it hurts sometimes. The one who posed this question. Everybody's yeah, going to forget her. Sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, wow. you also found your own answer. And I shall return all the dreams to the people. Wow. Oh, she's healed. <gasps> Kawaii's healed. Oh, my goodness. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This game is amazing. Come on. Oh, the writing in this game is phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> Nahida, are you all right? I'm all right. I'm, I'm just a little confused. What are you confused about? We've just saved the world, right? Yeah. So why? Why am I crying? I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Do you still remember what happened just now? Just now? We used the power of two Gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin soul consciousness from 500 years ago. Then, we removed the remaining pollution from Ermin soul. Did I... Managed to remember because I'm not from this world? Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Paimon doesn't seem to remember either. Has everybody really forgotten Greater Lord Ruka Devada? Should I tell them the truth? Oh! What's that sound? I feel super sleepy. 
what the heck is going on? I hear walking. Oh no. Oh no. Is that the doctor? Was that Tatori? Huh? That sound. Traveler, Paimon. I've been waiting here oh. far too long. It is. But finally, I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time oh, I wasted has no. finally paid off. The doctor. What? what just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. What? Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... There are many what? different versions of you in this world. What? An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension. That of time. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. So I wonder if that is why the Dottore from the manga looks different. He looks younger in the manga. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves, not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal, yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... you really are crazy. Testing. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. <laughs> As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. Oh, for example, the Belladier, the Gnosis, oh. the Gnosis. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides. You have no way to use that electronosis in battle. Didn't you 
say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken the Heavenly Principles? What does that mean? Hmm. Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? Ooh, look at Nahida! <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the God of Wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? Let's see. This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? <laughs> oh. So this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. <laughs> I am loving this. Oh, it's like a chess match. Yes. How very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions a battle of, of me, wits. this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. Wow! Her deal was for him to erase all of the other versions of himself for the Gnosis. And yet, Zhongli just handed it over. That, that to this day, makes me so frustrated with him. Oh, uh, that instantly made him like one of my least favorite characters. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I mean, he did grow on me a, a little bit more after the story quests, but still, it made me mad. I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. 
Perhaps it's best to say, you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? <laughs> True. I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short sighted? You That's that awesome. Wait, I'll have my revenge. You'll make Good this moment count. You, you will regret this. That's the one from the manga. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third <laughs> time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru. Uh, why there? do they want the Gnosis? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you, have you in all your mighty knowledge ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? What? Huh? Fake. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. The skies of Tevet are fake? Secrets and dark truths flow to the mind of the wise. Wait, but together! Okay. Wake him up. Huh? Are you awake? Kali says it's time for breakfast. Come on, get up! Good morning, Paimon. Good morning! How are you feeling today? Uh, pretty good. Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? That's right. On that day, we lost consciousness in battle. When we woke up, we found ourselves in Gandarvaville, and Tainari and Kale were looking after us. I heard that it was Sino who brought us here. Tainari complained that Sino was always sending people to him. But he has taken great care of us. After completely exhausting ourselves, we had a good rest here. After a few days, we finally recovered enough to be able to go back out. From what Tainari and Kale have said, the Akasha has been turned off completely, and the people of Sumeru will no longer rely on it. Such a big change will certainly affect people's lives, but it will definitely be a good thing. Like you're awake. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's uh pretty crappy out. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. 
I hope you like it. <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat. Oh, something these yummy. are gonna be so soggy. Well, now that I've recovered from Alizar, I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. Oh, heck yeah. And I'm a vegetable. letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Paimon hasn't already read it? Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up. So Paimon didn't open it. Alright, let's read it now. Oh, it's from Milu. Oh, nice. <clears throat> We're going to hold a feast at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Awesome! Oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. That's amazing. Uh, we were just doing our part. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. But you're amazing too, Kale. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. Yeah. Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Hi, Tainari. Ah, good morning. How do you feel today? Better. We feel much better. How about you? Yeah, how's your wound? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. Oh, okay. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Apasia. For now, I only need to tend to my Forest Watcher duties. It seems once Ermin's soul started getting better, everything else started to recover too! Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Oh. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We Forest Rangers will still need to do the work. I appreciate that's a lot to ask. By the way, we have some good news! This news is hardly new. He had already <laughs> mentioned it to me before. <laughs> huh? You mean he was already here? Why did he come to say hi to us? He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. Yeah, sounds like him. And you probably already know all about the celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Huh? that they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? Hmm. Perhaps. Or, alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. True. Uh, come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. Yeah, I guess Nilu's only planning on telling him once festivities are underway. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? VIPs? Very important to <laughs> Nice. Well, <laughs> technically speaking, they are former VIPs. Uh, the sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidia forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Is your master all right? Yes. He's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali, in her boundless mercy, has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly, they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidia Forest. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Ermansoul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really exhausting. 
There is nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Yeah. Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go. But be careful. Thank you, Tainari. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, a celebration. Oh man, what an Archon quest. We are reaching the end of it, kind of uh, wrapping it all up. And I'm excited to see the celebration and the reinstatement of Sino. I am absolutely in love with this Archon Quest. Court. It is phenomenal. And uh, I am so excited for Fontaine's Archon Quest. But that is it for today's video. We are reaching the end of Sumeru. Oh man, what a ride. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit a like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!